So welcome back to my channel. The video is going to be slightly different than usual. I'm going to go over some basic editing terms such as cutaway, picture in picture, and how I use PicMonkey to do overlays and end slates, that sort of thing. So if you already know how to do these things, then don't worry, you don't need to keep watching. Just stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be a beauty video. So on that note, I think we should just... Okay, I'm so, so I'm having pretty bad issues with my microphone, so I apologize if the audio isn't amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start off with iMovie. Um, anything here down below is my main video, and every everything above it is either picture in picture or cutaway. Those are two settings that you can change once you have it highlighted. So the way to do it is by making sure that the image you're importing, so I'm going to just drag this. So I drag this right here into my timeline and I make sure it's highlighted and you go to the first icon right here and then you just select picture in picture. So you make sure picture in picture is selected if that's what you want and from there you can just manipulate it and move it anywhere you want. I made this in PicMonkey and I'm going to show you in a second how to do that. But first I'm going to also show you cutaway. Now cutaway can be a cutaway to another clip or a cutaway to another image, whatever you want. In this case I dragged a clip of me browsing through Bing and so I just grabbed it and I dragged it right here to my timeline. I'm not going to do it again because I've filmed this video quite a few times. So see I'm talking, I'm talking and when it gets to this it cuts away to it so that's basically what it means really simple again you just make sure it's highlighted and you go to cutaway now also if you're importing an image to make it into a picture in picture you want to make sure that here in the fourth little box right here it says fit and not Ken Burns usually when you put something into the timeline it'll automatically do Ken Burns so I'm going to show you what I mean in a second let me drag in this lipstick I'm going to drag in this lipstick right over here I'm going to watch it play. You can see it's panning through it. And the way to fix that is to make sure it's highlighted. And you go to the fourth box and click fit, as I said. And now the whole thing is selected. And then you click picture in picture if that's what you want it to be. And then you can make it large. Um, so now, you, as you can see, it's not going to pan in a really weird way. So you always have to make sure that it says fit and not Ken Burns or crop to fit. And then here you make sure it's picture in picture or like side by side you can do or cut away. So now we're going to move on to Final Cut Pro, which is a lot easier, I think. When you apply it, again, here is my timeline. Everything down here is my main video and everything up here are cutaways or picture in pictures. So here's already a cutaway. It's an image of my close-ups. Oops, I'm going to lower my volume. So here is, an, here is a cutaway to my close-up. So that's usually what I use cutaways for, to include some close-ups of the products while I'm talking in the main clip. So all you have to do for that is you just drag it here and it'll instantly be cut away. Now for picture in picture, you grab what you want. So say I want to grab this little speech bubble that I made on PicMonkey and I'm going to place it over here. But once it gets to it, it's kind of blocking my face. So you make sure that this is selected and that way you can, again, move it in any place you want, in any direction, you can spin it around, put it upside down, whatever. So that's how you do picture in picture in Final Cut Pro. It's pretty easy. Basically, this tool allows you to do everything and to move everything around, including the actual clip of you talking. So here's how, so that's how you also make like video collages where there's a bunch of videos playing here, here, here. You just stack them all up, and then you just make sure this is highlighted, and then you can just move them around and place them however you want and get the timing right. So that's how you do that. And now we're going to move on to making these transparencies on iMovie so I mean on PicMonkey so you just open up PicMonkey I was watching videos you click design and all you have to do is make sure that when you're clicking design transparent canvas is selected and that's going to give this a checkered appearance but that means that any overlay you put on it is not going to have any weird background or um, color in the background any weird background and then from there you can use any of the overlays that PicMonkey provides I'm sure you'll find some of these very familiar because a lot of beauty gurus use PicMonkey not only for their videos but also for their thumbnails so there you can so from here you can select whatever you want a bubble like you, I showed you earlier and then you just write whatever you want whatever you save it either you import it using this little tool right here or you just drag it in from your desktop now the reason you want to make sure that you're clicking transparent is because here's a clip here's an image of a nail polish without um, transparent background and as you can see there's a weird move that you want to make sure that you click transparent when you're using that item in final in PicMonkey 
and also as you can see here it's panning down really weirdly so once again just to reiterate you go to the cropping tool and you make sure it says fit and then you go to picture in picture and there it is looking um, much more normal also before I go when you see end slates like this is also picture in picture you just stack both clips up and you click picture in picture or you you know um, move it around with the little rectangle as I told you and then you just put it into the image that's all you have to do when it comes to end slates so these are both picture in picture as well so i hope i answered your question if not let me know down below or if you want to see more videos of this nature let me know hopefully my microphone will be working much better because this is an expensive microphone to be not working as it should be so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye